Ready? Oh, I'm ready. Shall we? It's okay. All over the place. Same. Just begin. <laughs> Just begin! Hello friends, hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of To Be Continued. Honestly, you guys, usually I'm the one that comes up with the names for yes. things. Jocelyn is not usually in the naming department. This was all her this idea. Was all and I was like, all me. To Be Continued? It's a lot better than the original name for this show, which was like two part talk at a table. Brown table talk, I feel like you even <laughs> said at one point. This two part series called Two Part Talk. It's not what it's called. Two part talk. I don't think so. Your rules are up. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm very impressed with your naming abilities. As am I. So if you guys are new here, I'm Jocelyn. This is Lil. Hi. And this is the <laughs> brand new show where we have one part on my channel and then to be continued on Lily's channel. It's part two. So we kicked off this series maybe a month or two ago with Coachella. I remember us getting ready and we just kept being like, more is more. I <laughs> got more accessories. Lily had on like 17 chokers. Okay, ready for Coachella. Then we moved right along to the Met Gala. Basically an expansion of the time. Remember he just brought his head? That's now he's true. brought a whole additional human. He doesn't human. feel comfortable going alone. No, so he's brought a whole additional <laughs> human. And today we're getting completely self-absorbed and super narcissistic by taking a walk down memory lane to break down each of our top five, or I'm not even gonna say top five, I'm just gonna say each of our five. I was gonna say, I only have like five. Red carpet experiences. I feel like you've actually been to way more than five red carpets. Maybe 10. Okay, that's a lot for a human uh, being. It is. It was a weird fever dream portion of our life where especially there was a time that we had like a PR, the company. We had a PR for, team. And they paid them way too much money. I, I disagree. I think that they should have been paid far more money, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Not that, that we were, there was no re, we didn't need PR. Oh, like we could have gone to these yes. things on our own. I, I oh no, no, we couldn't have. Never. But what were we promoting? Anyway, we were promoting ourselves, okay? This was definitely a different era in time, although I do still go to a lot of red carpet Jocelyn's events. really good at networking and staying in touch with people and actually going to things, and I am not. <laughs> so she still goes to things, um, and I go as her plus one sometimes. And while you said you've been to at most 10 red carpet, Jocelyn has been on both sides. She's lived many lives, and she's interviewed yes. basically any celebrity you could possibly think of. So I feel like, are some of yours going to be like from your hosting days, or these all you as a guest on the red carpet. No, we are going to really diversify when it comes to this episode. Love diversity. I have probably been to hundreds of red carpets. I, and I'm not saying that exaggeratively. Conservatively, what would you guess? Conservatively, I would say around 200 red carpets if I had to. And that's because I would go to things like, for example, Comic-Con, where in the course of one day, that's I would be on four to five different red carpets. And over the course of one Comic-Con, I would maybe be on 20 red carpets. And that would just be during one year. I so, also love that these carpets really range. It was like anything from like a major movie premiere to like a Disney Channel, kid's 16th yeah. birthday party. Bella Thorne's quinceanera was pretty iconic and she did arrive in a Cinderella sort of horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, Ariana like, Grande's birthday party where she rented out the entire Paramount Pictures lot and Patti LaBelle performed and we all got custom Snuggies. Yeah, I was at that you as well. You were friends with her too. That is true. Anyways, Get before we digress, we are each gonna be breaking down five of our most memorable red carpet looks and I felt that it was apropos to kick off. Rearranged. We've little. rearranged ourselves. We're ready to go back in time, hop on the magic carpet, and go back to the year 2013. Our first stop is the Kids Choice Awards. <laughs> Kids Choice Awards, even to this day, is absolutely my favorite award show because people are actually having fun on the red carpet. Every year I was invited, I had an absolutely great time, mostly because this was the only award show that our bosses would let Dana and I go to together. Oh, that's true. Usually it was like a one host. Scenario. Usually one of us went, but this was always such a big annual event that it called for the work of both of us, which also meant that we were really ready to pull out all the stops when it came to our fashion. Oh. And, and as you can see in this okay, photo. Wait, so also for a lot of these, you got style. They're not like you didn't own these dresses most of the time, right? It's really generous of you to say we got styled. We did not get styled. There was one fashion house this in Stamen. LA that would let us borrow clothes. Shout out to Pistol and Stamen. They carried like every single Adriana Papel dress <laughs> that you had ever seen in your life. Every single dress was like pretty much fully beaded. Yeah. Very over the top, but you guys, this was 2013. Very, very like prom. Yes. But this was in style in 2013 oh, for prom specific. You guys were really cool. You I like cool. I was like intimidated. So Dana, 
guys you can see is rocking this like green outfit I went for this coral fully beaded skin tight dress and I would also like to point out by this point in time I had absolutely discovered a great self tanner really really intense hair extensions and Botox so I was really doing well at this point in time. This was where you cut off the aging. This is when <laughs> look the, same. the aging came to a stop. And by 2013, Damn, by the way, the we had already been doing red carpets for like at least five years. So this was like when we felt as though with this look, we had really made it. Would I wear this now? You know we were talking to like Miranda Cosgrove. Oh, I was time coding we're, all the interviews. We were talking to Little Mix. Zendaya? We were talking to Zendaya. We were talking to Nathan Cress. We were talking, if you were on Nickelodeon. The names that I have in my brain that like I'll hear now, like Boo Boo Stewart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and who got the exclusive interview with the cast of Supa Ninjas? Absolutely us. So when I see this photo, I think we look like pretty hot babe. You guys were really cool. And you still are. Thank you so much. <laughs> Other thing I want to point out is that my dress was a lot, so I chose not to wear jewelry. I'm but, shocked you don't have a statement. But piece. Dana has one of the hottest trends on a very, very intense statement necklace. These which, would be like, like they would weigh like five pounds. Oh and you my would gosh. never see them without. And you would wear multiples at times. So but usually then you'd have to like take one off because it would be like jingling on the microphone. Exactly. But if I had to put the year 2013 into a time capsule when it came to red carpet fashion, the this would fit perfectly. But I think it's time to move on to your first red carpet look. Um, well, we were gonna give honorable mention really fast to my first red carpet ever. Which, where you came as my assistant. Yes, and I feel like there's kind of, uh, basically I just took pictures. This is the only proof, literally, because none of the interviews went up because the audio didn't record on any of them. And we got back to the office and I remember our boss was like uploading the footage and he was like, hey guys, you know there's no audio on any of these. And the camera guy felt so I bad. Thought he felt was so bad. I, I was worried about him. He yes. was on the verge of tears. So, um, but we looked really cute. We both had on blazers. Or sorry, oh, I, I had I, a blazer. I, I think I had a blazer. I think I had one with me. I feel like I had a few Urban Outfitters blazers that I would mm -hmm. wear to like things when I needed to look nice. Um, so it was very exciting for you because I remember Fifth Harmony was there and they hugged all of us. And for you at that time, that was like put a fork in it. You're finished. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have so much hair. It was all fake. I mean, it was mine. I bought it, but that was a lot of extensions. See, like you, do, you look slightly different, but I don't know why. I think my face was rounder. L literally, mine has changed shapes. I've just like shrunken as a person slightly. Same. Yeah. That's I think nice. it happens when you get older. I feel like your skin gets... Oh, anyway, my skin is so Let's look loose. at like an actual red carpet look. Yes. So Lily's look number one. You know, let's start off with a non-red carpet, red carpet. Okay, picture. great. Um, And you're in it. Okay, great. Oh my gosh, this was one of my picks. Too, and you want to know why? One, it's a cute picture. But main reason I why? picked it was because not only did you wear this the one and only time we were ever nominated for a streamy, I'm pretty sure you also wore this dress to Coachella. Oh, I definitely did. <laughs> yeah, guys, you're not going to see me only wear things once. I recycled. October 2016. We look... So cute. See, that's I wasn't going to red carpets ever, so I feel like I don't have like I can't go back and find like really embarrassing ones because it wasn't that long ago, and I never. You never went to I a never red carpet where you looked too bad much either. either. Yeah, well, you never looked because bad. Someone else did my makeup, and then honestly, though, most of the outfit like this I think was from Forever or H and M or something. Yeah, so one of the three. Yes, yeah. yeah. but most of the stuff I would wear on red carpets would literally be like five dollar dresses from that store queue. Absolutely. What? This was a really fun time too um, because we were not. Nominated, but we were too lazy to wait for the red carpet line. It was too long. Were we nominated? Well, that's the only reason we were there. We were nominated for the streamy for... It was for an ad campaign or something. It was for Clever News. We were nominated as best news brand. Oh, okay. That I don't know sense. why you and well, I were the only the people there. because the streamies in general are like, you have to pay to... Pay to get nominated. Get nominated and to win. Sorry, so, cats out of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> and um, our company definitely wasn't doing that. So we, we actually got nominated, stuff. which was exciting. And we looked really hot. But also, I just feel like this is really um, representative of our just entire career, where it's like, we were supposed to go to the red carpet, but they were like, we don't really know who you are, and we're going to let all these people in first. And we were like, we don't have we to. don't really okay, care. We'll, do, we'll go over here and take pictures. Kind of looks like we're at a funeral or, or that something. it's like our pregnancy announcement. 
announcement. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. I feel like this picture got a lot of comments about us being a cute, like we would be a cute couple. 100%. And I'm like, we would. <laughs> Absolutely, then cut to, I think immediately following this red carpet, we went on what looked like to be a honeymoon. We I told her to when Italy. I was pulling pictures for her, like videos and pictures for her birthday post, that it genuinely, if I'm scrolling through, it looks like we've just gone on a lot of couples retreats. <laughs> Okay, well, let's move right along. That was gonna be my next look, but I think I'm just gonna skip ahead to better days for me, really. This was, Fresh I believe, milk. the year also 2016 when we attended the Ad Council Gala I did not in New York gala. City. And I had a stylist for this. Shout out to Bridget, my old stylist. She doesn't live in LA anymore. And I had a very clear vision for what I wanted. When I saw this dress, the fact that it was crushed velvet, which has always been okay. my top fabric of choice. I knew exactly how I wanted my hair and Your makeup. Your top texture. And I wanted to have like a slick low pone, lots of extensions, fishtail braid. I wanted to have a choker and like go for the 90s moment. Is there a choker? It's very minimal. Ooh, nice dainty It's like a choker. little dainty diamond situation. Oh, you look really good. Here. And a bold eye. I felt like hot shit. I this, felt good. This is one of the things about going to red carpets is they're very uncomfortable. I think for people that are famous as well, but um, especially if you're not famous because usually it's like photographers yelling to get your picture. No one's really yelling and you're just kind of walking in front of them and maybe they're taking your picture. <laughs> But that's when I do it because it's like kind of, I feel like they're like, whose daughter is here? Like who's, <laughs> who's relative? Jocelyn looks like she could be someone. Like she, and that's you very have that generous. like confidence about you. So I feel like you look great on all the red carpets and just look like you were meant to be there. Honestly, I've really had to look at other people's red carpet photos. Shout out to Shay Mitchell to figure out what do you do with your hands? How do you pose? What do you do? Or do you just stand there looking like you're taking your eighth grade school picture over and over again? That's why I love like New Year's or something. Like I love having a drink so you uh, like have, have something, something to, to hold. That's yeah. why sometimes I'll have a handbag. Fun fact about this red carpet, this was at a very fancy New York hotel. This was like the most New Yorky of New York events. James Corden was the person like, I don't know, yeah, opening and seeing the whole gala. entire thing. It was a very fancy dinner party, but the red carpet was literally like in a side room, just like a ballroom at the hotel. You can even see that that's the actual carpet. It's kind of a weird green carpet. This is one of my favorite looks of all time. I feel like it stands the test of time. I like it. And um, yeah, this is probably like, I, I want to be buried in this mostly. Oh, that really escalated. Yeah, I think it's pretty hot. Uh, what's your next look? Well, um, speaking of not belonging, <laughs> plays into my next look, which is- This is iconic! To the Power Rangers premiere. Um, I feel like the only thing I did have going for me at a lot of these is the colored hair. Oh it's my like, gosh, Not yes. everyone has colored hair, so it's like, oh, I guess she could be someone maybe. <laughs> It gave me one more smidge of credibility. No, it but, gave um, you a huge notch. So also a lot of these, they would start at like, the red carpet would start at like seven minutes like, but you guys have to get here by six. I we would still, come in. literally for all these red carpets, we were still at work. And I was just like exactly. changing in my office into like whatever I had lying on the ground. Exactly, which was what I was gonna say. Yeah. A lot of these we were getting ready in like 10 minutes right before, which is why you see that I like do not have my makeup done or anything here. We were going to the Power Rangers premiere and Jocelyn was like, oh my God, I have these Power Rangers shirts randomly. And she had a few, but somehow I ended up being the only one that wore one. And I paired it with a skirt that I just, I don't even know what's going on. I think it was like, okay, you can't wear jeans? Fuck, what else? However, the people at the magazines thought differently because Lily, riddle me this. When in your career have you ever been featured in a fashion magazine? Once. once. And it was? When I was wearing a Power Ranger shirt. See, you gotta let me style you all the time because I didn't pull this photo, but we're gonna throw it up right now. What I wore to this red carpet, which was a skirt, a kitten heel, and an off the shoulder toque shirt. Heel. Looked like I was a lawyer on vacation. Did I? I get featured in a magazine? No. This was one of my worst looks of all time, and I actually cannot believe that I wore it out in public. Lawyer on vacation, and not even a good lawyer. Um, okay, well, I'm scrolling to find my magazine debut, but um, we'll pick that back up in part two, because this is to, to be, be continued. continued. But if you're new here, Sorry. please subscribe, join the party, and also leave a comment letting us know what you think we should to be continued oh, next. Yes, what she said. Yeah. Looks like I've been electrocuted. <laughs>
<laughs> so let's cut it off right here. If you guys want to see Lily's most iconic moment, I'm just going to say this. She is sandwiched between two of the most famous to this day living blonde female celebrities. You're gonna have to go watch part two on her channel. But in the meantime, I do wanna say, you don't sell yourself short. What? You are on the cover of Women's Health. Twice. It's cover the same picture, but it's been Photoshopped so it feels different. Women's Health is very generous. It's actually Women's World. It's a oh, magazine oh. that's uh, weekly at <laughs> Women's the Health checkout. Is magazine. Women's Health is an actual legit magazine no, that I would that. love to be featured on mm -hmm. someday. Lest I digress, hit the comments, let us know A, what you think of our new stellar show, To Be Continued. And B, which of the looks we've shown you so far are your favorite? And are we faking it till we're making it successfully? <laughs> I think we are. You are. I think you are too. Kind of. No, very much so. Thank you. You were in a magazine. Goodbye.